God damn, I was looking for some clams, but I found this juicy little clam here. I put my finger on your little pearl. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to another video from World of Diving. Today I thought I'd have a quick look at the multiplayer. Literally just went to multiplayer off the main menu and decided to jump in the first game I could find. And... It seems to me that at the minute it seems to be deep water underworld fishy photography game. Yes, there seems to be a lot of photography bits in here, but having looked a little bit deeper into the game, this is literally just to get used to the mechanics of uh, getting used to floating around and things like that. And, um, god damn woman. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'll give you some sea. Yeah, god damn clap ass. I'm supposed to be actually photographing these fish, but I decided this fish was, uh, well, I wanted to get my hook on this one. Yeah. Yeah. Up the pussoir. Yes, the multiplayer is seamless. You can literally play up to four players, and as I said, the, the initial first parts of the game... <laughs> <laughs> You've just got to aren't you? The first part of the game, um, there's a lot of photography bits in it, and the game then unlocks to artifacts, um, places of interest, um, treasure items, and uh, the game gets bigger and bigger. And the developers have said that in the future they want to add a real simulation mode, so you probably have to work out your gas. Uh, nitrogen levels and coming to the surface etc etc but for now this actual part here is we've got to photograph 10 trout she's not a trout uh, we've got to uh, photograph these and we'll move on and I'm not going to bore you with me swimming around trying to take pictures of these trouts but um, yeah it's quite cool it's quite cool on, on co-op and you can have up to six players I think I may be wrong I I'm sure they said there were six players so I've just got to swim down here, take a picture of these deep sea trout. Oh, there also is an Oceanopedia, which I've yet to unlock, which basically means that different species of animals and plants will bring up lots of information about them, like a, a bit like an encyclopedia, which is quite cool, actually. I, you know, quite like um, the deep sea documentaries, so, yeah, quite cool. Eventually, I did actually jump out of that game because the other retard uh, just couldn't do it and you both had to do it for the challenge. And I jumped, jumped back into another game. So, I can see these guys have got their metal detectors out, so I'm not actually sure what the mission was as I jumped in here. I just decided to have a little swim around and um, just follow these guys and see what they're doing. As you can see, the animation is quite nice. And believe it or not, this game's got a real... It's got a real sort of um, relaxing vibe to it. I'm just going to point at this dude. You fucking retard! You couldn't fucking photograph a fucking fish, you fucking mong! Yes, you window licker. Anyway. As you can see, there are wrecks and all sorts of here. And in my next video, we're actually going to be looking at uh, the Bismarck which was a ship that went down and it is uh, the actual wreck is down there and you can actually have a swim around inside it as well as you would with the real one and they are adding lots and lots of more content deep sea diving and all the other bits and you shall see that in my next video but so far this is quite interesting quite relaxing should I say you can presume this mission is they're obviously looking for something there are these little gold coins that are hidden away in the levels and when you click those it gives you the opportunity to upgrade new kit masks or breathers or flippers you name it and i've noticed there's also an option for boat so i'm not quite sure what that's for seems you can buy your own boat um whether they're planning on making the areas that you can swim in much much larger again I'm not too sure um, but for now this is just the multiplayer aspect I'm looking for these uh, well I've no idea what I'm looking for here so let's just get back out here get some cool footage you can see the animations are really quite nice hopefully um, I'm not you know, I'm an advocate of animals and I don't want to kill them, but I'm sure they'll be hunting in here as well at some point. And, you know, there's so many other things they could do, you know, the oil rigs, deep sea diving, welding, 
um, you know, bomb disposal, uh, huge opportunities to do lots of things. But anyway, this has been a quick look at the multiplayer. I know I haven't really showed you a lot uh, because I haven't really unlocked enough as yet. Um, I mean, if you're going to get the game, it is quite relaxing. It's something completely different, and with track IR, it'd be fantastic. Now, they do say that the right button is free look with the 360 pad, but currently that's not working. I don't know whether that's a bug on my behalf. But anyway, thanks for watching and subscribe for the next video, which we're going to be looking at a real life wreck at 15,000 feet. It's all good. Where's that little pussy?